Team. This is 2K. I have Swarly, and we are here for spoo Spooky TNA. How are you doing, Swarly? Uh, I'm doing terrible, because I'm in hell. Oh. It's, it's Halloween. Oh, it's a good thing you put the context in there for the people who watch this in a month when I upload it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are... We've just booked uh destination x it's going to be especially confusing because we did this bit two streams in a row so they're going to open it and be like oh nick uploaded the wrong stream again no they won't because i'm wearing a mask this time oh okay all right fair i figured i'd go low effort and at least put the lucha mask on uh no one can see me so i'm wearing a very very elaborate detailed costume um I'm wearing I'm wearing the same thing Kenny Omega wore on uh, AEW. I was gonna say I can't believe you went as Ribby, but <laughs> yeah, the you could be Sans as well. That's fine too. Yeah, no, I I'm a big head mode Ribby. Um, Ooh. I, yeah, but uh, my forehead is clipping through the wall into my backyard right now. It's pretty wild. I don't know how you got that to happen, but that's amazing. Yeah, I told you it was a very detailed and elaborate costume. I wasn't lying. All right, we are, uh... oh, they really want us to book Puerto Rico. I feel Who like are... we just booked Puerto Rico. Who are our road agents, Primo and Epico? Yeah, we were just there in June. It's September. Relax, Puerto Rico. We'll come back eventually. Let's go to Texas. Okay. I hope in the 2020... They start adapting the regions according to New Japan. So the regions of the United States would be like West, Texas, uh, Mid, uh, Northeast, and Southeast, I believe, were the, the five ones. It sounds about Japan. right. Yeah. Yes, the five states of the United States. Yes. I, for one, am proud to live in Northeast. Uh... We had The Rock beat Kid Lycos. Uh huh. That's that's what happened last time. Uh huh. That's it. Uh, Lucha Brothers over Star Wars. Uh, a, a bunch of stuff. We we booked towards No Surrender, so we know where we're going. EC three got the big win, so he's getting the big match versus The Rock. Do you want to start there? Yeah, probably. All right. I'm assuming The Rock's going to be the one to come out first. Uh, I don't know. Maybe because, like, there wouldn't really be any reason for him and Ethan to have a, like, heated face-to-face -face thing because they are both baby faces. So I think maybe a better way to go would be Ethan coming out and being like, now that I'm done with Miroslav, it's time for me to get back to the world title. I want The Rock. And then some heel could come out and be like, no, it is I who wants The Rock. And then they can have a match and then Ethan can win. Ah, okay. That sounds good. And who is the heel who could have a claim against The Rock? Who is the heel that could have the claim against The Rock? Let's see. What sort uh, of heel might have just won a match? I mean, it, Kid Lycos could want the rematch. Yep. Uh, and yeah, I'm thinking that's the one. Unless we want to sacrifice Joey here, which I do not. It would either be Kid Lycos or another member of CCK. I mean, Kid Lycos would be the one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kid Lycos is the one. Well, I mean, the other CCK guys have to come out, because otherwise it's just Kid Lycos coming out and being like, ah, woo. And Ethan Carter being like, what's that, boy? <laughs> what? You want, another, you want another chance at the title? <laughs> All right. I have Travis Banks and Chris Brooks coming out. No, Ryan, this is not an Excalibur mask. This is a Pentagon Jr. mask without face paint. So kind of an Excalibur mask. It's black and white, so I can see where you would get that. 
Uh, Shalmer was a fancy mask now. It's got, like, gold in it. Oh. Well, yeah. Penta wears a much fancier mask than I'm wearing now, too. Yeah. Well, they got that fucking con money. Yeah, I'm, I'm wearing, like, season one Lucha Underground Penta mask. Yeah. So, EC3 versus Kid Lyco. This is our main event. Yes. <laughs> Correct. When you say it like that, it's a little weird. But yes, our main event is EC3 and Kid Lycos. To see who will face The Rock. Yes, again, weird when you say it like that, but correct. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it. If this wasn't a work night, I would have done the face paint, but... I did not feel like doing that at like six thirty when I was when I got home. Uh, all right, Joey won his match versus Jeff Hardy. That feud is continuing because Jeff Hardy's still mad, I believe. Still mad, yes, correct. Joey Janela tried to have him killed. So. What? How does Jeff continue this feud? Because Joey beat him, so... Perhaps it is time for Jeff to return the favor. So Jeff's going to, uh... Jeff's going to beat him down? You could hire, yeah. <laughs> hire Loki if you really want to go full circle here. <laughs> Jeff Hardy going and being like, Hey, Loki, uh... What's it going rate right now? Yeah. I think Jeff could beat Joey Janela down on his own. Yes, I think so. Do you want to have MJF run Jeff Hardy off? Like after Joey's been adequately beat up or just leave MJF out of this? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, what he's not doing anything else, right? That's what I mean. Like, he's not doing yeah. anything. We could probably get a Jeff Hardy-MJF match out of that. Yeah, we we really uh, kind of stopped using authority figures. What a wild concept. They're still the authority figures. Once in a while, they act like they don't care while someone tells them they want a match. Oh, I know. I'm just saying, like, when we first started and our authority figure was Sting, it was every single, every single thing we booked was like, they gotta talk to Sting! Well, Sting on the show. Sting was like 15 points higher than most of our roster. I know. And now that's Joey Janela. All right. It was like so and so wants to wrestle someone in a match. Better ask Sting. Oh, you're not a fan of QT Marshall? Marshall? I don't know why I said it weird. I mean, he barely did anything in that match. I don't know. I didn't see anything that was egregious, but perhaps I just missed it. He was very much just there to be, like, local talent number three or whatever. Yes, behind John Silver and John Silver's friend. Alex Reynolds. Alex Reynolds. How dare you? Disrespect. Look, one of them has a memorable name, and the other one is John Silver's friend. I mean, Alex Reynolds has a, very much always been John Silver's friend. Oh, okay. As far as that tag team goes. I did not mean to make the joke inadvertently, but it's just literally he yeah. has such a like a baseball player's name yeah, that I could not born, remember it. Born name for a born guy. Woof. Uh, women. We, we need to get to... Mercedes and Haley, that that needs to happen. Because it's still they still haven't had the turn yet. No, they haven't turned yet. So how do we get there? So they lost the tag title match at the uh, last show, and then Merce- Mercedes didn't turn, but she was like, I'm mad. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. Um, are they are they is she ready to turn? Is this the week that it happens? Yeah, why not? They're wrestling at the pay-per-view. Okay. 
Um, are they losing a match to make that happen again? Can you check if she's ready to turn first? Hmm. Or is that not a thing the game will tell us? Nine seconds. She's oh, ready she's to ready turn. to turn. She's rock. Okay. No, I think this is just an in-ring segment where uh, Mercedes calls out Haley. She's like, oh, you know, we, we need to talk. And then Haley's going to be like, you know, things need to go our way, but we just got to get back to our roots and do our best and maybe catch up on some anime and, and we'll, you know, th things will turn around like they always do. I know it. And then she'll just, you know, Mercedes will. I think Mercedes just blindsides her. I don't even think she says anything. What like, if? What if Mercedes turned a hug into an attack? Oh my god. How insidious. Did the basically did the hugplex to Haley. And then beat the crap out of her. Either way, I like it. Is this our first run with Keel uh, Mercedes? Yeah, we were going to turn her earlier, and then the game told us we couldn't turn her, so we just dropped the angle exactly like WWE did. Oh, I remember that, because it was like yeah. around the time they did it as well. Yeah. Although we skipped the part where she just like disappeared off TV for six months. There are no reports of her sitting outside a hotel room after Slamversary. No. no, no reports of her crying on the floor. As far as I know. Yeah, we, we skip by the news most of the days, though. Fair. I hope that's, like, one of the things they... I, I hope that's one of his, like, added news things in TW 2020. What, just, like, more random events of people? Yes. Or like when you get a notification, like like uh, before you know your show, it could be like so and so was spotted crying on their hotel room floor. Uh, he seems like he would do something like that too. Yeah, it, it lowered morale. It bummed everyone out. It raised morale. Everyone laughed at them. <laughs> that depends who it is. Uh, Chuck Taylor. Chuck Taylor. He. Uh, how is he getting to Keith Lee? That's, you're looking at Bound for Glory. How is he getting to Kid Lycos? I don't fucking care. That's the, like the least of our okay. worries right now. Well, everything else is kind of set up, except for Kaylee Ray and I I guess Masquerade the Rada, but that's basically set up too. All right. Keith Lee and Braxton needs to continue. Mm hmm So, um, so Keith Lee kind of just won, didn't he? Yes, clean. Okay. Uh, how could Braxton get another match with Keith Lee? Beyond just like winning a number one contenders match. Um, he could attack Keith Lee. He could cause Keith Lee to lose a match. He could he, just win a number one contenders match, too. He could just win a number one contenders match. Because we do um, need matches. We do need matches. Um, Well, we never did book our match that we set up in the opening segment. Also, The Rock hasn't been on the show. We should do that at some point. Okay, let's book that. And what's The Rock going to be doing? Is it finally time to have The Rock be coming to us live from the set of his newest movie? No, because that would imply that he's going to be gone for weeks. Ah, okay. He'll do that after he loses the title. Yes, and he refuses to come on the show. Okay. So what will The Rock be doing here? Do you want to put The Rock on commentary for Kid Lycos and Ethan Carter? Oh, boy. And then after the match... Yeah, could... sure. 
And then after the match, he could... I don't know why you thought The Rock would be bad on commentary. He's, like, the most charismatic person in wrestling. I think commentary is its own stat. So I, mean, I was just like, eh, maybe. It's The Rock. I'm sure they gave him a good stat. True. Uh, and then after the match, he can get in the ring and shake hands with Ethan. I'm glad to see EC3 is ending shows again. Yes. Not yelling, but maybe in time. He's a he's a face again, so I don't know how much yelling he'll get to do. We're still going to need something with uh, Braxton Sutter. We are going to need something with Kaylee Ray. Knox, did Knox win the title or she did she retain it? She, she retained. retained it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so here's here's why I was thinking that we could do a match there. Mm-hmm. Is, hmm, but I don't know a third year. Well, we could do a six-man tag. Okay. Of uh, Knox and Anime versus... Uh, Ashley, Kaylee Ray, and another heel, and then have Kaylee Ray pin the champ. We just broke anime up. Well, that would be, and that would be the like the final straw to break them up. But the way that we're doing it, kind of, we could think of maybe Knox could have another friend. Um, why don't I? Because I don't know if there's enough faces that we could realistically be like. What if Kaylee Ray and Rebecca Knox had a non-title match? And then Kaylee Ray won by like uh, just like a distraction or interference or something from Ashley. Okay. And then Ashley could be like, ha ha, I got you. And then next week they could be like, yeah, no, but Kaylee Ray's a number one contender now. And then Ashley could just have a meltdown. Oh, poor, poor Ashley. She, nope, this is not the match. Nope. She, her plan was foolproof. I don't know where it went wrong. Well, she's not thinking straight. She just wanted to, she just wanted to embarrass Rebecca Knox. That match is going to do real well, too. Yes. It, I would hope so. All right. We got Tag and Braxton Sutter. 51 minutes left. Could also do something with the X Division. I mean, is it too early to just jump into Keith Lee and Star Wars against Braxton Sutter and the Lucha Bros? <laughs> uh... And give Big Bird Braxton the big win. Okay, so six man tag. Mm hmm. And. I mean, if you don't want to book it, we don't have to book it, but. I just want to see how this looks. Okay, you're, you're a visual booker, I see. And it was. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright with this, I guess. Okay. We'll give Big Brax a big win. Unless Keith is mad. Nope, Keith is Nah, fine. Keith's cool. Keith's cool. He gets it. Cool Keith. He knows he's going to win at the pay-per-view. Yeah. Uh, I think Masquerade Dorada should just like have a, have a win. Have a nice win. Have a nice win. Who, besides Will Ospreay, was the other person in that match? Was it ACH? Ah. Ugh. Ah. All right, so we could do Mastro versus Ach. Yep, I think so. Mm-hmm. And Mastro Dorada gets a win. Uh, I think uh, uh, 
Ear and MJF should cut a promo because I'm afraid of Ear cutting one by himself. Uh, just being like, you know, aha, I'm the exhibition champion. Finally, this division has a champion that we can market. Yeah, there you go. Something like that. Finally, the rich people get ahead. <laughs> Score one for the rich guys. We are, uh, we, we've been taking a lot of losses lately, so we really needed this one. Yeah. Been, been real tough since uh, Trump lost the election. Uh, we're technically a month away from that. It's been real hard since uh, Trump's been impeached. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's what we want MJF going out and cutting promos on. Mm-hmm. That'll win us. Win us the fans. Well, I assume when he says that, the crowd will all just cheer. Because, like, yay! MJF and Ear do the, like, heel overreaction thing. Go crazy. Uh, do we want Chuck Taylor on the show winning at all? Seeing how we got 12 minutes, not because I'm particularly uh, who, needing who Chuck who Taylor. Is, who else is just hanging out? Who's else not booked? I mean, that's... For people we need for the pay-per-view, that's it. Show me the thing. Show me the thing. It's Chuck Taylor and the big guy. Oh, Miroslav has not appeared on the show. Uh, Miroslav, Miroslav isn't booked at the pay-per-view, but he's killing he's in, EC3. Yeah, yeah. So he should probably... Is Miroslav just going to get a win on pay-per-view? No, he's interfering in the... Or not on pay-per-view, on, uh, on this show. Should he attempt to interfere in the main event but get cut off by The Rock as he leaves commentary? Yeah, I can't do all that, but yes, I can get him in there. But, like, you get what I'm saying. It, yeah. You could be, you know, interference from Miroslav, interference from The Rock. We'll just, we'll leave it at this. This is... Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, the, then the post-match segment could be, like, The Rock... Chasing off Miroslav and shaking hands with Ethan Carter. Ugh, let's just get rid of all this. I feel like this somehow became all about The Rock. What? <laughs> One of our angles? Uh, yeah, all right. We're still short 12 minutes. Uh, I, I suppose Chuck Taylor could just win a match. I'd also be fine with him talking, although I feel like we need matches more than talking. Yeah, I think we got enough talking. Or, actually, now let's get, let's get Chuck in the ring. Uh, or in the, on the mic. On the stick, brother. What is Chuck Taylor talking about? He that seems the... like that's the segment name. <laughs> He took out the big guy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, big things ahead here for Chuck Taylor in the world of Impact Wrestling. Chuck Taylor self-promotion. Got it. Okay. Six minutes or 16 minutes, however you're feeling. Uh... What if he just had a good match? Yeah, what if we just had a good match? All right, let's just book a good match here. Will Ospreay's not doing anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, did... Did Desmond I, I noticed... It, I was going to say, that's not on the No Surrender thing, but it should be. Oh. Yeah, it's here for some reason. Oh, okay. So we're oh, okay. So we're, we're oh, that's right because we forgot to set him to turn. Oh, so he needs to be in segments. Yeah, he needs to be in segments. Well, he can wrestle. Will Os he can lose a match to Will Osprey, and then yeah. afterwards he can get yelled at by Coach Scott. Yeah, this this counts as a segment. Yep. Oh, this needs to be on the show. I don't yeah. Know why I was making? I I saw these two and I was like pre-show. Okay. Yeah. And then Coach Scott Steiner for two minutes yelling at poor Desmond Xavier. 
All right, Des, your uh, your next month is just gonna be getting yelled at by Scott Steiner. Sorry, bud. Oh, sorry, Scott. That's right. No script. Here you go. Just please don't get us taken off the air. That's all we ask. All right, pre-show time. Also a storytelling match. Just looking at the women here. Is there anyone we didn't use that we should? Oh, the tag I mean, champs. Yeah, the tag champs are kind of just chilling. They don't have a match. No, we didn't come up with anything for them. All right. Do we have any face challengers that might do well? Uh, I mean, I think eventually we want them to wrestle, uh, Tainara Conti and, uh, Sasha Martinez, but I don't, I mean, I don't think we would even get that done by Bound for Glory, but maybe. I think we could do that for Bound for Glory. Uh, we just wouldn't be able to change the titles over. No. Uh, all right, let's, let's see what we have for teams here we don't have to actually finish booking but let's just see what's available to us mma is a team that we have uh, we have anime b team but we might want to break that up is anime is broken up well i mean I, Haley could use some friends more than ever right so maybe athena goes and be is it friends with Haley? And Lufisto is there as well, but the team... No, becomes... but, but Haley's wrestling actually about for glory. No, I mean in the future. like Nick, do you know... You know as well as I do that there is no way three months down the line we're going to remember we tested her and Haley as a team. That's fair. Tony and Candice feels like our thrown-together team that we always do. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're both blonde. Sure. They're both fun. Uh-huh. And then... Either the champs or the Australians or uh, it, it, be a Yemen Shayna Baszler. It, is, is there anyone that could team with Tessa? Tessa. Who would you like to be friends with? Tessa and Allie, TNA. I can't believe you've done this. I'm putting MMA over. Yes. How's it going, Maverick? Tess and Alley look like a tag team. Tony Storm and Candice also. I mean, those all those three teams look like tag teams. Yeah, those are three tag team-ish tag teams. Yep. <clears throat> and then big guy should probably get a match. Yes, or he'll be mad. Uh, can, can we have him just squash Silver Ant? Uh, how about Big Guy and Andrew Everett battle the Giants? Hmm. Uh, we're going to have to overbook it if we want the audience <laughs> to believe that Big Guy could take down Andrew Everett. Yeah. All right. All right. What's our storytelling match? Um, it's either Osprey and Xavier, or the Six Man, or the main event, or Rebecca and Kaylee. It could be Rebecca and Kaylee. Remember when Allie was sweet A? No. I I honestly do not. Was she just Allie, but with a weird name? Was she teamed with Brodus Clay? Did you, did you mean to say sweet AF? Because, yeah, she was, I remember when she was sweet AF. That's all the time. Oh, got it. Oh, all right. My Brodus Clay joke was was a hundred percent where you were going. Got it. I'm so proud of myself. 
I too can make bad jokes. Uh, let's run this show. What do you think about the order? Is there anything way too high, way too low? Do, do you want to like break up the fact that Knox and Kaylee Ray and Ethan Carter and Kid Like Us are happening back to back? Do you want to like put a promo in there or something? Do you think Chuck Taylor can go in that spot? I mean, it'll probably get lower than those two things, but it's not like it's not going to tank the show, right? All right, it should be fine. Yeah, because the only other thing would be Mercedes turning on Haley in anime. I mean, that's a big angle, and it like uh, putting it that late on the card would make sense, but I don't think it's going to do especially well. No, let's let's have Chuck Taylor talk. Yeah. What could Otherwise, go wrong? I think we're good. Let's go. I like this show actually. Oh hey, this didn't do terrible. Let's see, who were the who were the best people out here? Sasha Martinez, that that checks out. And Tanara Conti. And Tanara Conti. Well would they're yeah. They're ready. Yeah. Uh this team is really in sync. Uh huh. And Tess is oh. as good as Candace and Tony, at least. Yeah. Allie is lucky that Braxton Sutter is getting a push. Uh, well, getting a push. Also, points. that the TNA name. Mm. We just need to find another worker that starts with A. I'm sure there's... Whoa! Look at... Wow, I did not expect this. Well, they have good chemistry because they're both giants. Oh, of course. Also, big guy blew up. How long was this match? Ten minutes. And he blew up? No, like he has a partially ruptured sub... I don't oh. know how to pronounce that. Well. I mean, Andrew is unsafe with how big he is. It's just, it's hard to, to work soft when you're a giant like that. I like to think that Andrew ever shot on him for bearing small people every week in our emails. He finally, we just forwarded him all the emails right before yeah. he got to the venue. Get a big dog. It's 71. Got to put that on the show. Yeah, Unless like, the big dog is actually very hurt. Oh no, people are unhappy with Everett because he caused the big guy to get hurt. That seems untrue. This did well. Yep, this did good. I was hoping this would do a little better. Yeah. But we're still getting Dorado over, so... Yeah, I mean, Dorado's getting 62, and he is, like, not over even remotely. So, right. we'll take it. MJF was the right choice. Uh-huh. This gets a 70. Mm-hmm. So... Osprey and Xavier are basically on the same level now. Yeah, Osprey never really, like, when we came in, he was getting, like, 68, so we were like, oh, yeah, hell yeah, like, he's gonna get so over. He's never really moved up at all. Which, I mean, he, the role he settled into is very nice, but, like, yeah. Yeah. The expectation was definitely a lot higher than this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Coach Scott's mad. Jeff Hardy attacking Joey Janela gets an 82. Mm -hmm. MJF M again on the show. MJF is just on this show being a good friend. Yeah, talking up his friend. That's that's MJF's gimmick now in real life, too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> good friend Maxwell. Yeah. He used his scarf to stop the bleeding on Joey Janela. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this did... Uh, about as well as I thought it would. Yeah, which this is very good. This might be better than our main event. Uh, Keith Lee got knee tendonitis though. How do you just get knee tendonitis in a match? You have a, a bad injury file in the mod. Okay. Thank you, Alex Shelley. People were mad at uh, <laughs> Braxton Sutter for giving him knee tendonitis. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, 
The turn got a 66. Mm-hmm. Let's not forget to do the turn. Let's, let's turn her heel. Oh, she was a legendary ninja, though. <laughs> well, can't she be a legendary heel ninja? She is, because we didn't give her a heel gimmick. It went really but, well, by the way. Yeah. I would assume so. Knox and Kaylee Ray got a 70. Mm-hmm. Good. Big guy and... and... This was worse than Big Guy and Andrew Everett. Wild times. All right. I was wrong. Whoa. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. Here we go. Give me a hell yeah. Oh, this did real well, too. Yeah. It it did do better than that six-man tag. I was wrong. Yep. And then, of course... This, the, yeah, of course. I mean, just A star one hundred machine right here. Yeah, eighty two. Nice. Now we need to go see how bad the damage is. I mean, it's just a big guy. Keith Lee would be bad, but knee tendonitis doesn't seem like it would be that big of a deal. I am concerned that you just jinxed it. Oh, we can try to get AJ Styles. Oh, we can get Scott Taylor. I I think the first one might be a bigger get, but... We'll... I don't know. The worm's pretty cool. All right, where's medical? 30 days of knee tendonitis. Oh. Unable to perform. That's bad. Oh, Andrew Everett just fucked over Braxton Sutter's chance for the title. No, he wasn't in that match. Oh, yeah, he hurt the big guy. Sorry, never mind. The big guy, who is also out for almost the same amount of time. Yes. But is less important, if we're being honest. Well, it looks like someone else is getting a shot at Keith Lee's title. No, Keith Lee's... Nick, you are all over the place. I am, yeah. Oh, geez, so... So, no one's getting a shot at Keith Lee's title. No one's getting a shot at Keith Lee's title. Oh, Oh, no. Yep. Oh, nah. I mean, I feel like 30 days isn't really enough to strip him of the title, right? Like we I probably... wouldn't, no. Yeah. So just be like, ah, we're not going to... No surrender, there won't be a title match, but there'll be... I a... mean, I th- I think you just have to come out on TV and say Keith Lee's injured. Yeah. There could be a number one contenders match for the Limitless title at Bound for Glory, and we just smoosh some matches together here. Is Chuck Taylor wrestling Braxton Sutter now? And Kid Lakers. And Kid like Sure. Throw in some other people there? Why not? I I think a triple threat's fine. All right, let's... Before we forget... That's not the right one. I am all over the place. Where is it? All right, what do we got for decisions? Chris Brooks wants more money. I don't know what we're paying him, but it's probably not much. He we give him six thousand a month. He wants ten thousand a month. I feel like that's fine. Yeah, probably, but I he's also a, feel like he's a main eventer. Oh, he's a main. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Also, he is the mouthpiece for Kid Lycos, who just got a title shot. Yes, the big, the the actual big dog, Kid Lycos. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of emails. <laughs> Big guy got hurt. Uh huh. Keith Lee got hurt. Uh huh. Alley loses a lot. Did you see your numbers compared to everyone else's alleys? Candice LeRae loses a lot. Yeah, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Impact did TV. Yep. Miroslav thinks Will Ospreay is too small. Wow, take it over for the big guy. It's like, oh, big guy's hurt. I need to step in. <laughs> And he thinks Andrew Everett is turning into a good worker. (laughs) And did you see the way he fucking injured Big Guy? Yeah. What a legend. (laughs) I really hope that that's not a coincidence and that was something that's built into the game where, like, if two guys have heat and one of the guys gets injured, he should send an email. So uh, are we going to try and get AJ Styles? Uh, yep, yep, yep. 
How much? Oh, no. TNA is too small. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, we oh. have The Rock. <laughs> we have The Rock, who's a much bigger star than you, but okay, sure. Sure, yeah. All right, so Scott Taylor, then. <laughs> We could always get Blaster McMassive. You think we could get him and Smash Master? Probably, yeah. Okay. I don't think they're doing anything else. I don't know. Our tag division is pretty stacked right now. We might want to hold off on that. Oh, Ring of Honor is not too small, though. Bullshit. Fuck you, AJ Styles. I mean, I guess this mod is from that period of time where ROH was number two by default. We're bigger than them. Are we? Yeah. We're four, they're five. CZW is... That... There we go. Okay. So we're two, they're three. CZW is still too high. Yes. I... Yeah, they're at the same level as NXT. <laughs> Yeah, so that's weird. Did NXT fall? Is it like if, I feel like NXT should at least be cult, right? Think of NXT as like the Florida Loop, because that's basically how it was done at that time. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, won't even. So I think that's a thing that's going away in the new one. It's like if you just roll a dump truck of money out to someone, no matter what size you are, they will come over. Yeah. At least some of them will. We could get... Oh, no, that's right. We didn't want to get... Or we couldn't get Adam Cole. Are we... Like, do we have low momentum? No, we got good prestige and momentum. Yeah. We some actually... We we didn't want Adam Cole because his overness was, like, duty. Oh, okay. He was, like, a 42 overall. And we uh, Like, uh, like overness. And we were like, eh, That would be, like, a low mid-carder. It's yeah. not really worth going out and stealing them. Oh no, Arrow Boy quit. Ooh, let's get him. Uh, oh, he's see. quitting drama. That's not no, it. he's quitting Crash. He says, says he's quitting drama. Oh, I see. Remember the six man tag championships? Which ones? New Japan? Yes. Are they still a thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. This is what I get for not watching the undercards for a little while. I was worried you were going to ask me who the champions were, because, boy. I mean, I know better. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Do you remember the ROH six-man tag titles? No. Yeah, when no, was those... that? Was that like two, three years ago, or was that? Uh, like... That that is in the year of our Lord, twenty nineteen. <laughs> bull, bull, fucking shit. Yeah, they still exist. I think. Get out of here. I'm pretty sure. Oh boy, where where is Priscilla Kelly working under contract? Hmm? Who is resigning her? Shine, oh, but shine. like okay. resign could also be like the independent contracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is also a thing that's changing in the new one. If you have an independent contract, you don't have to re-sign them. Yeah, that's how that works. Right. Uh, excitement Chameleon. Trained at the uh, WWE Performance Center. Checks out. I want her. Jimmy Yang is heading for injury. Oh, man. She calm down then. Man, AJ Styles would have been a real good get for uh, Bound for Glory. Yeah, that would have been huge. Yeah. AJ Styles is coming home. He could then face and lose to The Rock. He might have been able to beat The Rock. Maybe. Uh, he, he went back to yeah, that's, I mean, no surprise there. Yeah. Oh, Candice LeRae got loaned to Shine. 
Okay. Joey wants more money. Uh. Whoa. He wants twenty grand a month. Yes. That's that's a lot of money, Joey. Hold on. Do you know how many cigarettes that is, Joey? Yes, I know exactly how many cigarettes that is. That's why I'm asking for this much. Uh, that would make us. That would make him our, our fourth most, fourth highest paid worker. How over is he? Pretty damn over. Uh, where is he? Um, yeah, he's pretty over. In the seventies, uh, compared eight, to. Eight. I state. Yeah, he'd be getting Ethan money. Yeah. And he's Ethan Overness, so. Do you want to give him, like, 50 or 75%? I don't want to piss off Joey Do <laughs> You think 75% would piss him off? Let's see. Okay, he's pleased. Okay. Oh, boy. I mean, I don't know. Like, look, I like I don't know how the game is made, but if I go into my job and I'm like, hey, can you double my money? And they're like, how about 75%? I'm not going to leave pissed off. You're walking out like, ha-ha. <laughs> yeah, got him. <laughs> I suppose being like an independent contractor wrestler is a little different, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Joey Janelle is important. Also, we make like two hundred thousand a month. I, I know, but we uh, we. Can't... Oh, I'm sorry, seven hundred thousand a month. All right, <laughs> but I mean, we do keep like doubling everybody's money. Yeah, we could probably do that a few times and still be okay. Yeah, probably. I know you're a good businessman, so no game, not Puerto Rico. I mean, why not just run Puerto Rico, Nick? Fine. We'll just run Puerto Rico. We'll get a we Lucha a, Brothers promo in there. We have a backstage incident. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. I feel like feel like this is probably a finer suspension. I mean, she was being obnoxious and she beat her up. So that's like a double whammy, right? Right. You started it and then you also beat the crap out of someone. Yeah. I think you have to suspend her. All right. Oh, she's not on a written contract. So we have oh. to either fine or fire, which... Finer. Oh, she's very unhappy. Well, I'm sure Tennille's also very unhappy that you kicked the crap out of her. I mean, I would rather have Sasha be mad than, like, the rest of our entire locker room. Why is everyone fighting? I, I don't know. We were at 100 for a little bit, and now we have plummeted since then. Yeah, and we started a, like, underground fighting ring in our locker room. Mm -hmm. If we had just fired her, would it have, like, not gone down as much? Uh, it could have gone down more. Hmm. I think it would have been fine. We would have definitely become, like, way more... Oh, we're pretty iron-fisted anyway, but we would have probably gone more towards the fear <clears throat> than yeah. loyalty side. Oh, we're getting pretty close to the motivational speak speeches, though. I mean, at least people are loyal to us. For the most part. Yeah, if we get that maxed out, then we could get like a huge boost on one of our shows. Alright, so we're in we're in Puerto Rico. Yeah. I'm gonna at least do this. Because the mod maker made this so that people only speak Spanish. Generic venue, they speak all languages. Oh. That's so then why have we been avoiding Puerto Rico? We could just cheat. Because that is something that I regularly forget is a thing until I'm playing, like, on my own. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a thing. Yeah. So. I mean, that is just, like, outright cheating. It, 
I don't think Puerto Rico should be a place that only speaks Spanish, seeing how it's a pretty bilingual island. I mean, I guess that's fair, but I also wouldn't expect, like, like if I'm booking a show in Puerto Rico, I'm also not going to be like, hey, go speak English in the ring for 20 minutes. You know what I mean? That's true. Although, you could just send Rey Mysterio out there to, like, have the kids chant swear words at people. Did you not see that? Oh, no, I did. Uh, do you do you want to open with the Lucha Bros? Yeah. All right. They're the champs. They're the champs. Do you want to do a uh, six man tag main event? I mean, they wrestled a six man last week, but with the Rock in it. Oh. Well, I wouldn't want him teaming with Penta and Phoenix though. Oh, okay. Because I feel like the six-man tag would be like Rock, Ethan, and Chuck Taylor, question mark? Yes. Against like Miroslav, somebody, and somebody? Yeah, the two somebodies are the problem there. Bro, the Rock, Ethan Carter, Chuck Taylor... And I guess forget Miroslav and they wrestle CCK? Or a fourth good guy against Miroslav and CCK? Do you want to get real wild? I'm listening. Okay. You got Rock. You got EC3. Uh huh. You got Chuck Taylor. Uh huh. You got the Lucha Bros. Oh boy. You got Miroslav, Star Wars, and CCK. That's six people. Without Kid Lycos. <laughs> but Kid Lycos is the guy that would be in the match. He's the linchpin of the whole thing. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. All right. No rock, then. We can't figure anything out with this. I mean, I think Rock and Ethan being on a team and Miroslav being on another team is a match that we have built from last week. I'll just throw Kid Lycos in there, then. Sure. Sure. What are Lucha Bros doing on this show, then? Uh, they're cutting a promo. Promo on being champs. And... They're know. cutting a promo about their great Spanish-speaking fans here in Puerto Rico, the Lucha Bros. We, you know, we're Mexican, but we love Puerto Rico, too. And then they're going to get interrupted by Eddie Edwards... And David Starr. And they're going to say, you know, you guys only won because we hadn't teamed in a while. We were rusty. If you're real men, you'll give us a rematch. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe maybe some rudimentary Spanish uh, curse words here could be used to get some real cheap heat. thought they were just going to come out and be like, yo, fuck these fans. Uh, yeah, sure. That's too. All right, Star Wars getting their rematch here. Let's book that match before we forget it. Oh, yeah, we're going to forget real hard. I think we can go 16 because it's a tag match. I think so, too. What a match this is. <laughs> Rock over Lycos. Rock over Lycos. Okay. You want to have Keith Lee? Well, can Keith Lee even cut a promo? They said he should be available for angles, so let's see. Okay. What? Yep. I think Keith Lee should just come out and, you know, with a big knee brace and a crutches or whatever and announce that he is hurt and uh, he will not be able to defend his title. Uh, for, I don't know, the foreseeable future or something. Yeah, as soon as he's able to, he will defend his title, and maybe we'll just do Keith Lee versus Braxton Sutter on an impact, if we remember. Yeah. Uh, then uh, maybe have MJF there, too, so he can be like, oh, we're going to have a number one contenders match at No Surrender. Okay. Mercedes should probably cut a promo. 
Yes, Mercedes should probably do the fucking why Mercedes why promo. Mercedes promo. I never liked anime. No, I, I think she should just cut a promo about like, you know, Haley is a literal child. She's old. I can't babysit her anymore. She's ruining my career with all this dumb hugging and anime. Is Haley coming out? Is Haley coming out? She doesn't have to. No, I don't think so. I, I think I think Haley has taken this betrayal hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's she's upset. She's would emotional. You, would you say this is a top ten anime betrayal? Uh, it might be number one. Uh, so we we still need something with Joey and Jeff Hardy. Mm-hmm. Chuck Taylor could talk again. Uh, Chuck Chuck Taylor could win a match to qualify for the number one contender match at No Surrender. Sure thing. Who's Chuck beating? Uh, Rocky Romero. We could have him beat a CCK. Chris yeah. Brooks just got a bunch of money. Sure. Go earn that money, Chris. I don't, I just I don't follow your logic there. Like we just give this guy a bunch of money. Let's job him. WWE baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, just give him banks. <laughs> yeah. Where? What the fuck? There it is. Uh, I have, I have an angle for you. Mm-hmm. It is very easy. It is just Kaylee Ray cutting a promo. She pinned the champ. She's getting a title shot. Uh, oh, we, oh, we got to do the Ashley angle. That's right. So would this be MJF no- announcing another number one contender? Piece here? No, a- a- MJF would be announcing that this is the match. All right. So, yeah, announcing that Kaylee Ray is the number one contender. Yeah. And then what? Ashley being like, what? Yeah. Yeah, so Kaylee could still cut a little bit of that promo, and then Ashley could come storming in and interrupt it and be like, what's going on? Yep. How could this happen? Now you get it. MJF is talking a lot for a show in Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he has brushed up on his Spanish. Speaking of people that speak Spanish. Ear? We, we got Ear, we got Mascara Dorada. I think Mascara Dorada still just needs wins. Okay. And I think we're also running an angle with an X Division guy who keeps losing. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, Abyss, I mean, Abyss is Puerto Rican. This checks out. Sammy Omega is Puerto Rican. Yep. I mean, everyone here should be Puerto Rican. <laughs> There's levels Juniper. Yeah. Oh, they are both in Puerto Rico. You know what? At least they're living the gimmick. Yeah. They didn't re- relocate. Wait, hold on. Why is Corey Hollis in Puerto Rico? It's Puerto Rican. <laughs> okay, okay. Look at him. Uh, I I don't think that's accurate. I'm pretty sure Corey Hollis is from like North Carolina, but all right. Uh, he's in a tag team called Alabama Attitude. Yeah. <laughs> which, uh, as you know, Alabama, Puerto Rico is the biggest yeah. city. Hey, I'm from uh, Birmingham, Puerto Rico. <laughs> all right. So I do like your match of Dez. And Dorado. Oh, we are getting some wind here. I don't know if that's picking up or not, but... Nope. If I am suddenly no longer online, it is because my power got 
take it out. Oh, I love when that happens. Because we are getting... Uh, Desmond, th this might be a bit too far. I'm very unhappy. Yeah. Can I mean, but we have to get Dorado over. Can can we like lose by Bosch? Fifty four. It's not that big of a difference. Can can he lose by botched interference from like Jake Hager or something? Sure. Alrighty. And then get yelled at by Coach Scott again. That's your favorite segment book. It does well. I mean, maybe have Matt Riddle be there too, because that's the match we're building up to. But like he's not yelling because that's not Matt Riddle's style, but maybe he's just stoically standing behind him and being like, yeah, bro. Riddle looks disappointed. Yeah. Bro. Right, no script. All right, here we go. No script in Puerto Rico. All right. Just imagining Matt Riddle being like, what's my line? <laughs> All right, bro. How do you say bro in Spanish? <laughs> El uh, bro. <laughs> oh, boy. You know he would say El bro. 100%. Yeah. All right, we have 41 minutes left. All right, uh, what's going on? What's going on with Jeff Hardy and Joey Janela, Nick? Well, Joey got attacked last time. Mm-hmm. Is Joey... So Joey has to be upset for this match to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, he can't just, like, come back and be like, well, you, you got me. He has to be like... I think he has to escalate things this week. That's what I'm saying. Well, we have 41 minutes, so we have time. Yep. Should Joey book uh, Jeff in like a, uh, you know, fuck you match? What do we I mean, have kinda, for a fuck you match? I mean, it kind of really sucks if the big guy got hurt because this would be perfect for him. <laughs> well, you can book him versus Andrew Everett. I would put him on the shelf. Uh, yeah, there's not really anyone... Hmm. I mean, unless we did, like, a handicap match and he could wrestle, like, Lashley and Riddle or something. I'd be fine with that. Yeah, I know just... you, I know your opinion on the handicap matches, but... I mean, handicap matches stink, but the game doesn't seem to care. Yeah, and this is the occasion where it would be like, this somewhat makes sense. Mm -hmm. So Matt Riddle's winning this because both of the other two people in this are. That's the other thing about handicap matches is we usually have the group win. That's true. Which... Whereas in real life, the group almost never wins. Yeah. I think we've had the Rock win a handicap match, but that's about it. And he's the Rock. He yeah. was the group in that case. Yeah. So Joey needs to have a promo where he's angry booking. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Is he doing it to Jeff's face, or is it like Joey in the office saying this is what's going to happen? I think he's doing it to Jeff's face. Yep. With, with like two big security guards on either side of him, keeping him protected. Uh, spite books. All right, put that earlier on the show. Um, the Rock and Ethan Carter should cut a promo, right? Hell yeah. Yeah, like, that's gonna be real good. Hey, it's me, The Rock, and me, Ethan Carter. We're gonna fight at the pay-per-view, but we're a team this week. Yep. Please Miroslav, Miroslav is real dumb. Kid Lycos thinks he's a wolf. What an idiot. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Yuck, yucks, ha-has. Yeah. Oh, okay. Should Miroslav also cut a promo, or are we not in that territory? Of just... uh, I don't think he needs to. Okay. I, I think I think Braxton Sutter could also qualify for the number one contenders match at No Surrender. Oh boy, who's who's he beating? Um, who who do we got? We got 
Juice. We, we should be looking at heels. heels. Yeah, I didn't know it had sorted it. Uh, he, Rocky he could, Romero. He could be Rocky. Well, he just he was just kind of friends with Rocky Romero, so that'd be weird. Uh, he could beat Loki. He could beat Loki. He could beat Loki. Just want to get Loki on the card, don't you? Which, which is something that Loki has never suggested to anybody. <laughs> <clears throat> he has never said he could be Loki. Never. Not once. Five minutes left. Uh, who's who's not on the card? Who do we want to squeeze on here? We got a Chris Brooks who's not on the card. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, can, we should probably at some point put Rosemary and Hojo on the show in some capacity, right? Oh, yeah. Let's have them talk. Yeah. Uh, so, Rosemary is going to cut a promo on how not only... So, it was... Um, anime was their last one. Their last... Cha- oh, we just had a power surge. Their last uh, contender. Mm-hmm. So, not only were they not able to beat us, but they, they dabbled too much in the dark arts. Mm-hmm. And it tore apart their team. Yep, that that makes sense. Only the great team of Roseberry and Kyrie Hojo can dabble in the dark arts. <clears throat> That's right, Roseberry and Kyrie Hojo promo on dark arts and anime. So who turned Kyrie Hojo first? Us or Kyrie uh, heel first? I think we were planning on it first, but WWE might have actually done it first. Oh, they pulled the trigger first. Those yeah, I, I think so. Uh, also, I mean, I know she just got in a fight and got uh, fined or whatever, but I feel like with us being in Puerto Rico, we should put the team of Conti and Sasha like on TV. Oh, boy. We're rewarding bad behavior only because she's not on a written contract, so we couldn't suspend her. Yeah. And poor Tanara Conti. That, like, it's the wrong. It's the wrong. Thank you. Yep. We're even confusing ourselves with that stupid name change. A good bit. Yeah. Oh, you want to go full meta? I, no. <laughs> Not really. Uh, yeah, I feel like they've beaten Yim and Baszler, but whatever. It's fine. Sure have. Yeah. On impact already. Yeah. Um, there's no local talent either because we're in Puerto Rico. Is right. I mean, do you, do you want to do the Australians? I do. All right, let's do it. All right, where is the note to let them shoot? I'm gonna let Conti get the win here, maybe. Okay, that's probably yeah. Have have her pin Eagles. Just keep those keep, two apart. You keep them apart. Yeah. Oh, screw job submission. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ring the fucking bell. Oh, uh, we gotta cut three minutes. Okay, that should be easy. Yeah, I'm just looking to see where I want to do it. I mean, I would cut two of them off the match we just booked. Well, how long did? Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, do one less minute, but do flips the whole time. There you go. All right, well, that's not the main event. No, God. Uh, let's do that there, even though I think that's going to do real well. Actually, let's flip these. Uh, make sure the Keith Lee promo is before those two qualifying matches. Good point. I think I think the Rosemary Hojo promo is going to do well. I don't. Oh, okay. So what would you put up there instead? Uh, up where? 
Like in oh, never mind. I I am laid down. Is this good? Do you think? Probably. We just need a. We need a storytelling match. Uh. I mean, the story is really in this tag match here, but that's not really a story that other people know about. Jeff Hardy and it's the handicap match. Yeah, I mean that match is probably going to be not great anyway. So yeah. Should we move this down quite a bit? Uh, I mean, what's going up there instead? Dez and Dorado? Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. I guess we can move this down to split it up. And is anyone not being booked? Yes, Chris Brooks. Chris Brooks. And Will Ospreay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sounds like... Do you want to like tag it up or just one-on-one? -on -one? Uh... Still like a six man tag. All right. So like a little bit of a Chris Brooks and Rocky Romero. And Ear? Strickland? Was Ear not on the show at all? No. No? Okay. Yeah, then put Ear in here. ACH Will and Laredo Man? How about Will and uh, the Laredo Tornadoes? All right. We have done significantly less with Sammy Guevara than AEW. Yep. Because this game doesn't think it's possible to get a person over in like a week yeah there's no like star making yeah like this game is tuned to book like this game wants you to book like how WWE books and like I get that's why like I get that that's the purpose of the game and I get that's why it would be because that's what most people playing it are going to want to do right. but yeah like you can't just you can't like the way this game works you can't just strap the rocket to somebody and have them be a main player in three weeks like you can actually do in real life. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think it. I've seen, like, people on forums and stuff point out, like, no, you can't do it. You just have to do this, this, this. And it's, like, really exploity stuff. Yeah. But, like, just booking, you can't really do it. Because, like, otherwise Joey would have been over way sooner. Yeah, and yeah. It took us like the two years, two years of Joey Janela as a main event player to get him to like actual main event overness. That said, once he got there, it was like yeah, that felt like a, a f switch flipped, and he became super over real quick. Like remember in New Japan where we only did the pay per views? How long it took us to get everyone over? Yeah, that sucked. Yeah. All righty. Uh, I think we're I think we're good. I think we're good. Alrighty. Yeah, this match yep. ruled. Yeah, this is a fun match. Okay. Yep. Decent promo. Alright, this is what we thought. Mm-hmm. These teams Sasha. are pretty equal, honestly. Yeah. Sasha Martinez needs a new gimmick, perhaps? Shooter. No, she just needs a new gimmick. We don't need to take her out back. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> uh, Probably didn't do great. I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna blame it on being in Puerto Rico. Okay. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. This one did fine though. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Keith Lee's over in Puerto Rico, just not Mercedes. Yeah. This did fine. Yeah, this was a little Braxton was off his game. Okay. Okay. All right. Braxton is really hit or miss. Like, yeah. when he's on, he's good. When he's not. People it's love Joey great. Janela everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Joey Janela is just universal. This did better than I thought it would. I thought it was, I thought we'd get in the 70s, honestly, so I'm glad we moved it down. Yeah, that's why I wanted to move it down. I didn't think so. It's got a 71. Okay, I think I was wrong about this. I thought this was going to get in, like, the low 60s. Roseberry invented a new catchphrase.
Ooh. Spooky. Don't take dark art advice from Ultramantis Black. <laughs> mm. Mm. We what did happen here. We did have a lot of extra notes on this, like keep dead strong. Yeah. Like interference from Hager and stuff. So I'm going to assume that's what happened. Mm hmm. We're not turning does yet. Not yet. Masker Dorada debuted a new power spot. Hell yeah. Maybe that's why it got such a low score, because the crowd was like, what the fuck? Why, why is Matt? We thought Masker Dorada was going to do flips. He's just power bombing people. <laughs> yeah, he's doing gorilla slams and stuff. This did good. Yep. Coach Scott telling him to do gorilla slams, like. Yeah. It's got a 70. Yeah, this is well. All right. Good little segment. Hell yeah. Nice. Did Chuck, Chuck Taylor just kind of sneaky? I was going to say, like, Chuck Taylor all of a sudden became, like, one of our best guys. Did Chuck Taylor just do the thing that we were talking about? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we never really pushed him that hard. Yeah, this was this rolled. Yeah. Like, we never pushed Chuck that hard, but we were always just had him doing stuff. But it was always just like, ah, he's Lashley's friend. Like, he was never getting, like, a hard push. Yeah, he, he hung out with Dan Barry a lot. Yeah. That's generally not how you get over. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Ooh, boy. This, is a, this was a banger. Yes. People love this match. Puerto Rico went wild for this. Kid Lycos having one of our best matches of all time. In one of our best shows of all time. Man, who knew? Push Kid Lycos. That might be one of our... I have to check. Also, like, imagine going to... Like, imagine us at the, our first, like, show of this stream. Going back in time. Or of this, like, series. And then going back in time and being like, your best match is gonna have Kid Lyko steaming with Rusev. I'd be like, who the fuck is Kid Lyko? <laughs> oh, it's... Sorry. There we go. Alright, that was our best show. Yeah, number one. I mean, it's technically tied with another impact, but like that was our best yeah. from a month ago. So we're we're hot right now, and that was our best match by a point. By a point. Holy shit! Beating out Miroslav and Pentagon. Oh, that Bound for Glory main event is gonna rule. Yeah, that's gonna be something. I'm real excited. All right, so. Just to sort of, you know, put this in perspective, that's where we were at. Oh, our best match of 2017. Matt Seidel defeated Lashley. Yep. Wow. Matt Seidel is a name I've not thought about in a while. And yeah, Austin Aries. Austin Aries. James Storm making our top three. Woof. Moose and Eli Drake in there. Yeah, this was, this was bad. And then you just jump forward in time a little bit and you get the big yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah I know I'm over here going like oh how Chuck Taylor gets over he's in our second best match of the year <laughs> maybe that's how he got so over yep is he in any of the other ones as well no just that one jump in time the rock shows up Shh. <laughs> to be fair the rock isn't in either of the top two matches so I mean, he helped make some of the people in those matches, but... He's, he's in the number one match. Oh, he is. I'm a dumb. He's not in the second. He's in the number one match, in fact. And the number three match. Yep. And the number five. And the number four. And the number five. Well, he's not the number four. Well, no, not the number four. My, my bad. My bad. He doesn't wrestle enough to be in that many of them. That's true. All right, so I'm going to leave it here because I feel like doing two and then two in a pay-per-view has been working well for us. All uh, right. We could book two, or skip to the next show at least. Sure. The Rock likes Mascara Dorada, but Good, specifically his promos. Yeah, I mean, they're okay. 
All right, Rock. I mean, he'll probably be talking the next show. Him and Ear got to start their feud. Penta likes Matt Riddle. Pro. But specifically his promos. Uh, uh, we might Penta. need to get those two ears yeah. checked out. <laughs> Penta, no. <laughs> the butt. <laughs> Maybe something crazy will happen. Yeah, maybe. We'll get someone big. Who knows? I would say Master Dorado is a better promo than the Riddle, probably. I don't I, think I've ever seen Master Dorado cut a promo. I mean, I'm sure he does it in Mexico. Yeah, but I don't know. I can't tell if he's cutting a good promo in Spanish. Well, that's not that's not entirely true. Beta retired. Good for him. I'm surprised he wasn't already, honestly. It's, it's 2020. Did Lima Bates retire? Is that what that said? Well, now we'll never know. Huh. All right, I could just go check Lima Bates. Or the news. We'll never know. <laughs> There's no way to tell. I don't see no Lima Bates retiring. I've been bamboozled. Maybe it was just wishful thinking. Wow. Has she been wrestled on AEW recently? Or is she a manager now? Um. It was there, I saw it. Uh, I don't. She. Yeah, she's retiring. She wrestled on, like, one of the. Uh, one of the like before Dynamite shows. Oh, I was at the show. It was at um, Fighter Fest. She wrestled at Fighter Fest. But like since Dynamite started, she hasn't really done. I anything. don't think so. I think she's just been a manager. Okay. Yeah, she did retire. Chat was right. Look, there's no way for us to know. This isn't. It's not like we could go back and watch the tape or anything. So nope. we just got to move it forward. Rammstein. We always write. I mean, yeah. Normally. Oh, Nixon Newell. I don't think she's over at all. Probably no, not. Like, not at all. Like, negative over. Your show will be bad if you book her. People will get up and leave as soon as she comes out. Oh, we can get Diesel. Oh. I didn't know oh, Diesel well. was still active. Diesel's always active. Check Twitter. Ah, good point. <laughs> Speaking of Twitter, Hall of Fame Rob Van Dam. Bro. I think we got two more. Yep. Look at this lucky boy. He doesn't look lucky. He looks like he's very upset. Yeah, he doesn't look too happy. Imagine what RVD WWE Hall of Fame will be like. I don't think he's going to be like the, the main. No, but he'll go in. Yeah, he'll go in, but he won't be like the the centerpiece of a thing. RVD kind of seems like the kind of guy that would just like walk up, get the tr uh, get the ring or whatever, and be like, "Oh, thanks," and then leave. That'd be awesome. Or it's one of those where every wait a minute, the Scooby Gang is that an actual thing in Dragon Gate? I don't think the game would make up the Scooby Gang, but I could be wrong. Okay. It feels very much like Dragon Gate. Yeah, it seems too on the nose Dragon Gate for the game to have made it up. Correct. All right, so that is. Uh, oh, we got one more. Like Pretty I feel like sure the game would just. Game. I feel like the game's made up names are just like the dangerous group and stuff like that. Uh, the game should also have a separate database for companies with high comedy. Okay. 
where it gives them goofy names instead of like I don't know. I was about to say blackout, but that's like an actual name, but like edgy names. Yeah. The the edge lords. <laughs> that would actually be a name I would expect in Dragon Gate. <laughs> All right, uh, so nothing really interesting coming out in terms of signings or anything, so we will just continue on our way to No Surrender next time. Uh, Everyone, I I hope you had a happy Halloween if you are with us live. If not, then fuck you. You don't deserve to have it. Wow. (laughs) Yep, I said it. No, thank thank you for watching, whether you watch live or not live, and uh, have a good one. Bye.